man I am in not desperate need but I'm I'm really ready for a cigar today you know if you're having a good day smoke a cigar and it'll make it a better day if you're having a bad day smoke a cigar and it'll make it a better day if you're just having a I'm tired of this shit kind of day smoke a cigar and you're gonna have a better day and that's the mission for right now to smoke a cigar and have a great day hey guys I'm Ellery Wells from cigarscore.com the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars and um, we're gonna dive into uh, this is the second from the second cigar from this brand this is the Osgener uh, I almost said Bosphorus Bosphorus is the first one the Osgener Aramis we got it in Robusto and if I remember correctly the Osgener family started CAO, CAO Cigars. They sold it off. And then, uh, I don't know what the son's name is, but he's kind of the one that's in charge of Osgener. And all their cigars, I think even on the boxes too, they have a Crown Heads logo on them. So I don't know why they do that. It's not a Crown's, Crown Heads cigar, but they're buddies. I don't know how closely tight they are, but this is the, um, like I said, the Osgener Family Cigars, Aramis Robusto, the A52. I also think there is an A55 that's a Robusto. You can see all of the size and vital information over at CigarScoreLounge.com, but this is the one that's 5x52. Maybe the other one's a 5x55 and it's the A55. Anyway, let me give you a close-up of this thing and we're going to get it cut and lit and our day's going to get better immediately. All right, so here is the cigar. First one out of the box. That's why the cellophane is flipped up this way. Give you something to handle. Uh, here is the label OFC Osgener Family Cigars A52 5x52 and you see right there that's the Crown Heads logo and uh, the son of Osgener and the guy that started Crown Heads they have a podcast together if you are curious to check that out but here is the cigar here is the label but here's the cigar it's dark I think this one if I had to guess it's darker than the Bosphorus because this is a pretty dark, uh, a little bit oily wrapper. It's you can maybe see right here in the middle of your screen. It's it's got a lot of texture to it. It's kind of bumpy. It's kind of marbled. Um, here's actually you can see where the wrapper is like folded over itself, and you can see the color contrast between the edge of this one. This is there's like a little bit sticking up right here where the cap is flapped. You got a boat here on the back. That's kind of cool. Anyway, um, this looks like a dark and delicious cigar. This leaf, you can see that, that looks a little bit lighter than the rest of it. But the, the wrapper is very dark and then it just kind of looks marbled there on the end. But there you go. The Oz Jenner Family Cigars Aramis A52. It's got a very leafy smell. And that's all I can tell you right now but we'll cut through this hopefully I cut enough let's see if that was enough no I'm gonna cut just a smidge more so what I liked about the Bosphorus is that it was a pretty good cigar with just pure tobacco flavors and if you like tobacco or like I, I equated it to like a hamburger without cheese and all of the other stuff to it but it was a really good piece of beef in the hamburger and that's what I liked about the Bosphorus it was just no not a lot of frills not a lot of extra stuff but just good tobacco so let's see if that opened it up and it didn't, it's still a little bit tight, still getting a leafy, some leafy notes. But um, let's see how it goes here. This actually tastes a little bit like the La Imperiosa from Crowned Heads. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not an original thing. Like I said, it is uh, kind of oily at the beginning. It is leathery, spicy. The draw is kind of tight. I'm not sure if you can see that. Getting a little bit of smoke through there, but not a ton. Uh, let's pull up the internet. We're going to learn about this Osgener Family Cigars Aramis A52 Robusto together. Okay, I don't know why this tastes like the La Imperiosa. 
other than they're probably made at the same place, the tobacco is different. So let's look here. We have a Mexican San Andreas wrapper. We have an Ecuadorian Sumatra binder. I like both of those leaves. The fillers Dominican, uh, Connecticut Broadleaf, and Nicaragua. There's four Vitolas, five by 52. Uh, that's the A52. And then there is the A55, like I talked about, which is a five and a half by 55. There's the A54, which changes it all up. And that one's six and a quarter by 52. And then we have the 60, six by 60, which is the A60 strength, four out of five boxes of 20. A single one of these is about $14.02. And, and um, like I said, the flavors are good. It's just right now we have this really tight draw and it's, it is hard here at the shoulder, but I'm not sure if that's what's, what's causing that tight draw or not. That's probably where it's the hardest, although from the, the second half is all gonna be hard, which means the whole cigar might have this draw issue where I'm just sucking like freaking golf balls in a vacuum cleaner to get it going. Regarding the flavors, they're a little bit sweet. They're very spicy. There is probably, perhaps, from the Connecticut Broadleaf and the filler, I'm getting it that like really uh, high nicotine kind of flavor. It's a little bit chemical-y, chemical-esque, chemical-ish. I've got mixed feelings about this cigar. It's $14. It's got tobaccos that I love from a new company and an older company. Not an old company, but an older company. We have decent flavors. We've got some interesting flavors. We have a freaking razor sharp burn, but we have a draw that might give me a headache. Stick around, I'll keep you updated. Okay, we're about 50 minutes on this cigar. Flick that ash over in the driveway there. And this is probably one of the strongest cigars I have had in a quite a long time. The nicotine content, I would say it feels high. I, I feel like I, I can taste it, but I'm not getting lightheaded or anything like that. I the most recent thing that I ate was an apple with peanut butter. So it's not like my stomach is f super full of, of heavy things, but this cigar is not something that I'm smoking on an empty stomach. So I would also probably tell you that it's good that the draw is tight, which is a negative, but if I were smoking this faster, I might be high as a kite. It's just very intense, it's very strong. Yeah, it had the Connecticut Broadleaf in the filler. Man, I'm really getting that uh, high nicotine content flavor. It's intense, it is strong. There's not a pepper taste to it. I'm not sure I love it at this point. We're 50 minutes in and I feel like we're gonna smoke this an hour and 45 minutes. Again, that might be a good thing because of the intensity with which this cigar smacks me in the face. Uh, I wish the jar would open up a little bit. As the cigar is heating up, we've got a little bit more give here in the smoking end. Just rolling it here in my fingers a little bit just to loosen up this draw. Let's see if that did anything. No, it didn't. But we have a very strong cigar, mixed feelings about it. I think if you're looking for a really strong cigar, you might really like this. Because if you, if you look at it through that lens, it is a very good cigar. If you look at it through the lens of, I'm looking for something, you know, kind of, you know, it's been a few hours since I ate, looking for something a little mild, medium bodied, you would, you would not be prepared for this. But if you're looking for a strong cigar that you sit down, I don't know if it would pair well with something to drink, but I just had a big meal. I'm looking for a, a, a strong cigar to finish the night. This probably fits that bill. I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on the Osgener Aramis A52 Robusto. All right, I'm gonna give you an unpopular, well, I don't know if it'll be unpopular. This cigar is brand new and we've been smoking it right at an hour and 40 minutes. I told you about the tight draw and I think that was the main contributing factor to that. Where can I put this? So uh, I left my ashtray inside, so I've just been flicking ash. Okay, so for somebody, this is gonna be a great cigar. 
it is very strong. The flavors, there are good, good flavors to it. Um, again, I'm not feeling a lot of the nicotine, but I feel like I can taste it, and it tastes almost like a Pennsylvania broadleaf, not necessarily a Connecticut broadleaf. We had a Mexican San Andreas wrapper that I generally really like. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit chocolatey. The Ecuadorian Sumatra binder is also one that I really like and something that is a little bit sweet. So there was some sweetness. I didn't particularly like this cigar. I don't... I, I, in the past, I have thought I used to smoke really strong cigars, and I had one, I forgot what it was, the um, one of the CAOs, and it just had tons of pepper in it, and I realized that I don't really like super peppery cigars. And while this one is not peppery, it's just got some really... I, I don't know what to describe this cigar as. This one's going to show up in the Adventure Club, and I hope it becomes a new favorite for somebody. But it is it is strong. It is complex. There's a lot of diverse flavors. There's some, some char, some really dark earthiness to it. I just didn't really love the cigar. And actually, I think I'm going to change my mind here. Um, I'm going to actually give this a cigar score of four because of the tight draw. A Robusto of this size shouldn't, I mean, it should maybe on a good day smoke for 75 minutes. This one was way longer than that. So the tight draw impacted the smoke. Uh, I'm going to give it a cigar score of four. In the final third, I was kind of bored with that. And I hate to even say that it just didn't change a whole lot and it was just in my face in my face for an hour and 40 minutes of of smoking so like i said somebody's gonna really like it it was a little much for me and that's kind of where i stand with that it's a little much have something substantial before you smoke it that would be my suggestion cigar score of four for the osgener Aramis A52 Robusto. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. Uh, check out the Adventure Club, by the way. Forgot to mention that before. Get five cigars every single month shipped right to your door over at CigarScoreLounge.com slash Adventure Club. I hope you have an amazing day, and as always, happy smoking.